everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, a lot of things have happened since the last episode. Um, all of our mechs are fixed and all our pilots are back. Um, and once again, I, I'm going to apologize. Uh, I'm a little bit sick right now, so I may sound a little down. That's the only reason, it's just a little bit sick. But anyway, we've got our guys back. Uh, let's have a look at the mech bay real quick, because there's been a, quite a few changes. Well, not quite a few, but a few changes. So the Loki, um, or sorry, I keep calling it Loki, but the uh, the Hades. Um, we replaced the regular large heavy laser with large improved heavy laser in the left arm. So that's been updated. Uh, the Zeus, did I do anything to this guy? Oh yeah, sorry, with the Zeus, uh, I updated the LRM ammo to LRM LK ammo. Uh, giving the LRM-15 a little bit better chance to hit. Not much, but a little better. Um, everything else, I think, has pretty much stayed the same. The uh, Roughneck Risk, I thought I would give it a shot of outfitting this guy. I spent a long time trying to figure out what to do with this thing. Uh, it's weird because it's only got six weapon hard points, but let's have a quick look at it. Um, so I went all with big weapons on this guy. I pulled off the... Uh, the uh, um, light rotor auto cannon 2 off here because it wasn't really I mean it gave us extra 80 extra armor but it was using up a lot of space in this arm uh, and in order to get this other stuff on here that I wanted to get on here uh, it just wasn't working originally I had the heavy risk PPC the ultra 5 here and a pair of LRM 15s with the rotary auto cannon but the heat sinking just couldn't take it no matter what I did even if switching this to the prototype double heat sink kit didn't matter, I couldn't get it working. So, um, right now, basically, we've got a pair of weapon mounts. We've got the heavy risk uh, PPC into play with a large improved heavy laser. Now, I was going to go with a snub nose in this arm as well. Um, but the 80 damage with for this um, heavy laser at uh, long range, although it is minus one to hit, um, it's not so bad because we got... Um, plus one evasion ignore and plus one energy accuracy with the targeting computers so plus the three for the weapon mount which is going to give it a good chance to hit uh, now I don't have any um, uh, tracking sensors which is what I want to put in here eventually but uh, right now we just have we're leaving the original uh, risk sensors and cockpit in here which they're not too bad I mean we plus one guts two tactics adding an extra five armor and structure to the head which can help out um, and then this, in this arm we've got an Ultra 5, um, the Clan Ultra 5, so it's nice and light. Um, and it's got two recoil, but you know we should be able to mitigate that without too much of a problem. Lots of heat sinking. The heat sinks are great on this guy. Um, the only problem is we only have a 250 core in here, so it's pretty darn slow. Um, I just want to try and see how this thing works. Now i got a spall liner in here as well to give it 10% uh, um, reduction in damage. Uh, increase the armor weight but no big deal um, so yeah that's kind of how this guy uh, went I tried to put the uh, hyper velocity weapon in here um, but it just didn't really work out um, so that's the reason why I went this route so yeah that's that um, now we've jumped planets as well um, we are at a Jade Falcon world right now so there's only a couple of missions here that we can take couple for fire mandrill and one here just for the local government against pirates they're all uh, three and a half skulls so it's not too bad we're gonna take this one today but before we do that um, let's have a look at engineering I've got some things to update you on. so I was able to finally open up the command and control once I got the structure uh, raised up to three I thought well what else is going to open this up so I decided to uh, get the third mech bay up and running which is what I did and uh, we're working on getting the third mech bay uh, functioning at 100% right now. But once that's done, we're going to start um, getting the last mech into play here, uh, which I'm, sh I'm sure we need to do all three of these to get proper drop tonnage and stuff. But we'll work on that. This is about a million C bills, well, 750,000 C bills. And then we've got this one here, 423,000, then the last one, which really isn't too bad. So, you know, a million and a half roughly to get that up and running so we'll be doing that over the next few episodes now you can see our sea bills funds are down to 864,000 I spent a lot getting our mechs uh, repaired and back up and running uh, and I had to sell a bunch of stuff so the centurion's gone and I did sell the uh, 
Um, the Clint Eastwood mech, uh, as much as I want to get that thing up and running, it, it, I don't think it's just going to happen. And at 40 tons, it really just wasn't really worth it. So hopefully in my next series that we can get a hold of that guy early and uh, see how that works out. But uh, for now, we're going without it. Um, we don't have any mechs in storage, uh, with the exception of the one archer that we can assemble. Um, so with what we have here, this is what we have. So hopefully we don't... Um, Hopefully we don't uh, lose any mechs here. So today in this mission, I'm going to leave the bushwhacker out. We're going to we're going to give Goofy the uh, the rough net with a risk. And see how that works out, just to see what the mech is like. Uh, so let's drop in and get this mission done here. So still think as a form of flattery, it's a capture base against Clan Wolf. Hopefully we get some good uh, good action going on here. So we want to go with the Zeus, uh, you and you. Roughneck, Bushwhacker can come out, this guy can come in, and Hellion, Gundal, and Mastodon. So let's do this. Oh, yeah, sorry, the other thing I did was I had a look at the Grand Summoner um, with the Ultra 20. Now, I had the pirate um, uh, targeting computer in here, and the reason why I had that in there originally was it was plus one to hit, um, or plus one accuracy, plus one evasion pips ignored, but it did add one recoil. So I'm gonna I switched it out to the fire control system, TC marked two. Um, it does give plus one evasion pips ignore. We do lose that uh, plus one accuracy bonus, um, but we also lost the plus ten ten percent heat generated, and we also lost um, the recoil plus one added recoil. So I'm hoping that this works a little better. Uh, with advanced zoom and the zoom accuracy and stuff, hopefully that'll give us a little better chance to hit. It might end up being the same, I don't know, but we'll try it. All right, so let's deploy and see if we can get this mission done quickly. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Seven on the floor, looks like we've got, well, that looks like some formidable defenses, eh? Defensive turrets and two support lances. Probably plus one more lance. Okay. Three and a half skulls. This should be fun. Let's push these guys. I want a route here. Oh. That's some good defense. Orion 2C. Griffin. Well, they got low armor, though. Catapult. Okay. Right, can be nice. We've got a couple of parts, I think, for that. Uh, although I think this guy is probably the most threatening. And we moved too quickly, I think. But now we know what's up here. Let's just fire on this guy. Gonna use the barrage. And we missed. Let's see what they do. Some of these guys are going pretty slow. We got a 22 here. 16, 17, 19, 21. What are we at here? Dallas at 23. Uh, let's reserve. Waiting for the right moves. Yeah, I want to let a couple of these guys go. The Griffin. The Orion. We could probably pull both of those down really quick. Mastodon could probably follow up with a nice heavy hit on this guy. Why is he so low in initiative all the time? I don't know. I know he's in low spirits right now. Okay. So, as long as they don't have any ranged turrets, I think we'll be fine. And by ranged, I mean artillery turrets. Um, I think we'll be okay. Awaiting order. 
All right, dude, let's see what you got here. We need to get you a uh, proper targeting computer here. See what this rough neck can do against this guy. Ah, pretty lousy chances to hit. Don't worry, we'll get you the ranged uh, computer here. All right, it's a start. They do have weaker armor, so... Now, this is probably the support lance B. What do we got back here? Another Orion. Standing by. Uh... Nah, it's stay in the trees. Let's go into here. We're not at an optimal range here, but that's fine. Let's shred this guy. Put some high explosive on his ass. Got it. Okay, so who do they got next here? That griffin didn't move, did it? guess not. So they got their catapult still to go. Did it move or did it? Yeah. Wish it would tell you if, if a mech is moving or not. It didn't look like he moved though. Yeah, he didn't move. All right, let's just multi this. Leave the barrage off. This can go to B. Fire. My fire. Yeah. Ah, three hits. Okay. This is a really lousy first turn. But we still got the Ultra 20 to go yet. We still got our big missile platform to go yet. Got Dallas with all the lasers. I'm receiving you. Now Fist of, Ju Fist of Doran suggested perhaps putting the risk PPC on this guy. And it was a possibility. I'm not sure. I'm still going to switch some stuff around. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be the final loadouts or, or anything. Um, Nice, got them nice and nice and heated. Um, these aren't the final loadouts. I'm I am going to be reanalyzing all the mechs. Actually, we got bonus at long range, so let's get into. That's not going to be ultra twenty range, though, is it? That is, but not enough. Um, get you into striking distance for next turn. We're just going to fire the mediums at this guy. See if we can tag him. Alright, one hit and a tag. Beautiful. So we got to get in. We got to work on getting AMSs in these mechs too. That uh, five scholar we pulled off or tried to pull off a little while ago. I don't know. Um, I apologize. I can't remember who it was that said it again. Um, we talked about if I had AMSs in all the mechs. I may have been able to pull that mission off. I don't know. Oh, that's a lot. I don't know if we'd be able to pull the mission off, but I, I don't think we would have had two mechs go down. We may still have. I don't know. You got to remember the AMSs, the laser AMSs are the best uh, AMSs to use, but they still only hit about 30% of the time, which I know is better than nothing. Uh, at least we, we probably we we probably would have been able to mitigate the heat a little better which would have been really important. But um, yeah, the next time we go up to five skull on a mission like that, definitely we're going to make sure we have everybody or most people loaded out with the AMSs or at least mechs that are AMS supporters for the for our group. 
So while we have the AMS on the Thunderbolt, um, I want to try and have it on at least maybe three or four mechs. If we have it on four, then at least they can share the AMS. Okay, uh, who do we want to shred here? Let's just get into here. That Orion sounded pretty nasty. That's the Griffin. That's the Ryokin, which we can probably do some significant damage against. Yeah, let's go against the Ryokin. Uh, we're going to leave the arrow on. I want to use it a little earlier this time so we have it ready for when we get to the base. See ya. Solid connection on that one. He bailed. He's like, fuck this, man. I stand around. All right, let's do this, people. I wanted to sweep these guys off the field, please. Let's push them. On my way. Additional units in the area, really? I didn't. I didn't think they had any units here. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let's see what we got here. I think the catapult is going to be our way to go. Oh, this, this guy's almost dead. Ah, do I shred the Orion or I shred this guy? Let's shred the catapult. We can burn through his side, I think. Let's let's just do that. Roger. See ya. Oh, still going, eh? Inflicted some heavy damage. Shadowhawk 2C making a break for it. All right, they're going to be losing all their armor in a second. So infiltrators and gun doll are up next. Okay, that's pretty good on this guy. Do we take the shot? <laughs> that's probably going to be a kill. I have no idea what this turret chassis is, though. Uh, this guy's more of a threat, though. Let's just fire on him. Okay, Dallas. Quick we need to sweep this opposition fast. Orion 2C again, eh? There's a lot of those guys here. Let's just tab through these guys. So 51. Not very good in the Griffin. Not bad on that guy. Nope. A turret chassis better chance to hit than most, I think. Thunderbolt, that's a side shot. Let's see if we can claim the catapult. If not, we can just knock his ass down. Let's fire everything. Should be going down. Yep, there's the knockdown. Your job's this other Orion if you can get up here fast enough, if you don't mind. You'll be in the open, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to Warlord this, try and get a better chance to hit. Oh shoot, I should have multied. Oh well. No biggie. Let's just fire. Oh, you missed with both, eh? Dude.
That shit can't happen, man. This would be a nice mission if... Uh, let's move into here. If these guys were all full armor, this would be a completely different fight. All right. Um... Don't know if this is the best move, but we're going to multi. Uh, the Orion is going to take the rack at full. Um, ER is going to A. Streak will go to A. The Barrage will go to the Orion. And actually, let's put the Streak on the Orion as well. This is just a hopeful we can take the uh, catapult out. So this fire. The mm -hmm. Beautiful. He bailed. I don't blame you, buddy. I'd be GTFOing too. Turrets, I think? Let's get up to here. You don't really have great range. This mech still needs a lot of work. Nice nice chance to hit for the PPC and the Ultra. I'm gonna warlord this. And we'll fire. Yes, Commander. Beautiful. A couple of PPCs we don't have to worry about. Okay. Now we've got Mastodon left. I'm thinking that we may want to claim that other turret. Let's just see what our chances to hit on this uh, Griffin are. Not bad. Really good in the turret. It's ballistic. Let's claim the turret. Not quite enough. Reporting critical hit. Damage minimal. At least he's not hitting anybody. Should I maneuver and kill that turret, do you think? Actually, can I hit? That's a side shot in the Thunderbolt. Not very good either. Pretty good shooting on the Griffin. It's one of the other from here, eh? Okay, let's move. Gonna move up, take the hill, see if I can see another turret. No, we can't get any more turrets, eh? So these guys aren't really far enough away for me to want to shoot at. That guy's not bad. Eh. Let's just claim the turret. Oof, not quite enough, eh? I think we missed one of the big ones, though. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. At least they've got a target now to shoot at, with me up on the hill here. I keep putting myself in harm's way. Because I got re reduction in damage. I think it's like 10% reduced damage or something. But still, it's... They rarely ever take the bait. Alright. Just take this step at a time. Let's get rid of this turret. I don't want this guy to land a shot on us. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Not going to help you. Not going to do it. Just stay right there. 
I got an ultra 20 for you. Just stay right there. Beautiful. Yeah, he's all yours, man. <laughs> he doesn't want to move. It's all yours. Might as well use them both. You got that right. So I'm really interested in getting some components out of this. Hopefully we can pick up some Nova CWSs again. We lost that one when we lost our head when uh, Gundal ejected, but I can't really blame him for that. That five, that five skull mission, man, we could have lost so much in that. Kind of glad we didn't, though. I learned my lesson. I don't have to learn it by losing a bunch of junk. Or a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean. Alright. Uh, this guy needs a good shredding. I was just about to call her the Orion Killer. Uh, um, these guys are all hiding back here, eh? All right, let's just finish this guy up. Pretty sure I'm not going to need HE on this. I guess I did. That hit something good. At least he fell. Location confirmed. <laughs> I'm sure I've said this before. But as my dad used to say, when I would say, "Oh, I just thought I just thought I didn't need that," or "I thought I didn't need this," he'd be all like, "Yeah, you know what thought did, right? Thought he farted, but he sh crapped himself." Let's finish this guy off. Nicely done. So I don't know if this. Uh, Roughneck is a good replacement for the Bushwhacker. Uh, let's just drop a load in this guy. See ya. Thanks for coming out. Okay, what's this turret? Couple of streak 20, so he needs to see us directly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man. Orion killer. It's all yours. Let's just warlord this too, so we can get it this time in all one shot. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did ya? It's still going. Look at all the engine criticals. <laughs> Just wouldn't end. Uh, we can't multi-target with you, so... Can we move into there? We can. Let's move into here. All right, standard ammo. I don't think HE. Oh, I can. Let's go some with some high explosive. Roger that. Reporting critical hit. Commander. Highly explosive. Let's get both of these guys. We're gonna do a multi on this one. Roger. I don't want to. I want to see if I can get that. The or the. <laughs> I swear to God, I gotta keep calling it Orion. The Orion pilot to uh, bail out here. 
and we'll fire everything else at the uh, Thunderbolt. Not going to bail out, huh? It's going down. Critical hit, Commander. Have a seat, buddy. Okay, we got eyes on everybody. But I think I want to see if I can kill this guy. Nope. Enemy mech. Critical damage. He took it and he's just like, eh, whatever. Oh shoot, I just moved myself into a position for those street 20s. Ready for order. That was a stupid move. Full speed, no shooting. Now we got some shooting to do. We got some multi-target shooting. You and you. These guys are going to go, whoops, these ones are A. That can be B. Sure, let's do that. I want to see if we can get this, ah, oh well. I want to see if we can get him to bail out, but. <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> okay. He's critically panicking now. <laughs> They're down to three max and one turret. What's this guy? A war wolf? What's that? Whatever it is, he's trying to run. 75 tons. Reporting. Can you get a shot in that turret? I'm about to take some streaks up my nose. No, huh? All right. You know your job. What you got left? 35? So this is going to be a multi. B, A, or A and B, you know what I mean. B's taking those two and A will take the ultra. And you miss with both! Dude! Well you got that guy though, so I should not complain. Should not complain. Alright, see if you can save my ass. I don't think so. Not at 47%. Any crits though? No. Face full. Oh, face full of nothing. I got lucky there. I think he missed with both. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Yes. Excellent. The back here, probably back here, or over the hill. I think they come from this way, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's two lances. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Whoops! I guess I shouldn't say yes if they're in my rear arc. Another Orion 2C. It's probably fully armed. This guy's probably full. God, I apologize, guys. I keep doing this. Screwing the map up. It's a little better now, though, that I've changed those uh, the settings slightly. Changing the V-Sync settings. So if you missed it in the last episode, I think it was the last episode I mentioned it. Uh, if you change the V-Sync settings in-game to off, um, and then, um, can we get both? We can get both. Beautiful. And then, um, if you have an Invi NVIDIA card, go and set your settings to fast. Oh, we can't multi-target. What the hell? That's all right. Finish the turret up. Then you should be able to, um, 
have the game play relatively smoothly. So it's a little better when it's the enemy turn. I've got a little more control. I haven't noticed much else other than that. Like, like you can see here, I got a little bit more freedom than I normally have. Can we engage these guys? We can't. Okay, well. Does it it doesn't matter, just fire it all. Enemy mech destroyed. I don't want to close too much with the enemy, but I do want to have evasion pips, so I'm gonna move over here. Get as much evasion as we can. Get two, that's not bad. All right, Doc, I need you on this side. <sighs> that werewolf is over there. Let's get into here. Got to watch out for the back shot. Standard ammo, we should be able to drop some shots on this guy, no? no are we still at a range with standard ammo? I guess we are. Doesn't seem like we would be though. Oh well. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's just keep moving down here. Confirmed. Roughneck's not very fast. It's only got a 250 core. Commander. But it can it can uh, mouse around with this guy here. Uh, let's drop it on this guy back here, the war dog. Not that great a chance to hit, but we got to get rid of him out of our rear arc. You and your AMSs. What's up, you know what's up. That's what's up. All right. See if you can AMS this. On Only because I got balls of steel I'm moving up here. Wow. He is fully armored. What has he got in his shoulder, though? That looks scary. All weapons committed. Yeah, a tag barrage lander behind him. Sometimes it's worth firing because sometimes you'll get. Um, if there's like two or three of them around, if you land close, you'll hit a bunch of other mechs, but not this time. I'm listening. I'm here. Let's get into position to receive these guys. All right, what else do we got back here? Exterminator. Okay, not so bad. Yeah. Stay in the trees. Gotta put that mech in the trees. Soften them up for the barrage. Not sure what this guy's doing back here. All right, duck, duck, goose. All right, we can't get a direct line of sight. Let's just move up. Oh, we can't get the trees that way? Okay, burn through a bit of standard ammo in the rommel here. 
Well, yeah, better chance to hit. We'll take it. For like 16 points damage. Yeah, this, you know, someone said that uh, I should be upgrading these ATMs if we're going to make this loadout viable. Totally agree on the other archer. If it's going to be an ATM build, definitely have to up the ATMs. Problem with this guy is I can't because the the core is fixed. So I don't really have the ability to up anything on this thing. I'm stuck with the sixes. But we will be uh, bringing that other archer forward eventually. So we'll definitely be upping the uh, ATM loadout that way. We do have some ATM nines. I also have MML uh, 15s. I'm thinking about throwing in there too. Maybe have a mixed. Ooh, ooh, ooh! What are you doing? Rough neck with a. No, what is that? Oh, Jager mech. Okay. Two C. Ah, uh, do we need to ignore that guy behind us for now? Probably. He's way out of position, so let's just focus on the guys up here. What are our chances to hit here? Gauss rifle, medium lasers, 20%. We got three turns of firing left. Let's just hold off. Something a little better than 20. If we can get in close, I'm not, we'll be so worried because we'll have dead fire as well to, to use, but right now we're an indi indirect fire platform, so let's just hold off. Got three turns and then another turn for the uh, 20. So it's another, looks like, a, is that another Orion back there? That's that Orion. Is there two of them back there? They should have five guys. So Orion, Exterminator, Jaeger, uh, he's, he's moving back. It's not stupid. Unlike me who keeps moving forward. There's a blip right here. It looked like a vehicle to me. Um, let's soften him up. Let's get up here. I'm gonna soften that guy up as well. I think we've got sensors on this guy now. Nope. At least the AMS is up here, though. Let's use the barrage on him. I'm going to warlord this. Let's get a better chance to hit. Oh, what do we got? Mongoose. Well, that's not going to help out, is it? And fire. Tags on. Nice. Do we hit the Rommel? I don't know. Looks like we did. Can we get a... God, we still can't get a direct line of sight. Let's just move under the trees then. Forget the Rommel. Let's just peg this Jaeger. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, it's still the same chance to hit. Let's just do it. Work on some stability. Beautiful. How far can you go? Not far enough, huh? Go as far as we can to get away from that war dog. Hopefully we can put ourselves in a range where he can't see us. He's got missiles. Eh. Wonder if I should just thinking about activating this base. Don't think it matters if we do or not. Oh, thanks for helping out there. What's up with your AMS? Dude. Yeah. What can I do you for? Five bucks. I keep telling you. It's only five bucks, man. I'm good like that. 
All right, full Warlord. Let's get rid of this Rommel if we can. I want to see if we can pull that uh, Jager mech apart a bit more. Beautiful. You got that right. Pen that. Oh, we almost killed it too. He's dropping a big load in his drawers. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Commander. Lock it all you want. It ain't gonna help you none. Alright, let's see if we can finish this guy up. We've only got two more rounds of firing with this thing, so. Not quite enough. A critical hit. Mm. Yeah, but you didn't kill him. Yeah. You didn't kill his ass, droid. On my way. Okay, let's work on making this Jagger mech unstable. This is going to be a multi-target. You and you. Uh, let's give A the 20. And hopefully we kill it. Put everything else on B. Whoops. You know, I did that backwards, didn't I? <laughs> well, how many times do I do that? How many times? Brain thinks one way, body does it another. Alright, well. Why can't I not uh, offensive push this guy? I can. That's the exterminator. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can claim this leg. Engaging target. God, not even close. Okay. That's a good offensive push. I know it's not the best to OP with uh, missiles, but... Copy that. I'm gonna do it anyway. Hyper 30s, eh? Okay. That puts his initiative lower. We got the Ultra 20 in the rack coming up here, so I'm not that worried. I think the Mongoose des deserves the Ultra 20. I'm here. Come on, really? Okay, what do you got here? 33, 65. Let's shoot for this leg. Should have gone for the other one. Can you get into combat? You can. Roger that. Well, you are the Orion killer, so... Wow. Maybe not. Let's shred the exterminator instead. Six from 35 hit by the AMS. Looks like he's a little drunk over here. He's not having a good day. Who do we got next? We got Mastodon still. Oh yeah, we got Goofy. Yeah, Goofy and Gundal. Orders. Get up here. <sighs> See if you can pull this guy's leg off. 
Beautiful. That hit something good. Right here. Okay. I should clear this mongoose, but we're going to attack the exterminator. Going to go with everything. Do I want to, or do I want to... I'm going to do this, because we can get a breaching shot on that guy. I got him. Beautiful. Wow. Good shooting, man. That's some good shooting, man. We got Mastodon left. Ow. Forty percent, huh? Uh, really, I move and then I can't hit anything. All right, let's see if we can just trash this guy. Okay, we should be able to rip this guy, the other guy's leg off, or this guy's other leg off this turn. Damage is light. But that war dog still attempted to engage. Or war wolf, sorry. All right, his turn. Oh, man. Makes you want to multi-target, but I can't, so we're just going to fire. Have a seat, buddy. Ooh, head hit. Yes, Commander. What do you think? You pull the leg off that guy over there? Probably, huh? Or just blow him up, whatever. Just needed his leg, dude. Just needed his leg. Alright, duck. Orion needs some attention. Targeting for an alpha strike. Nice. We got the Ultra 20 still coming. He's running away. I want the side shot. On my way. Don't like not being in the trees, but I want the side shot on this guy. Okay, Dallas.
Think you can shoot his head off? Doesn't really matter. We're going to destroy him anyway. Lethal damage. We did take his head off. Good shooting, Tex. All right, let's shred this mongoose. Haven't had a chance to use the dead fire yet, so let's just take it now. And uh, let's um, a little close. Let's leave that off. Got it. <laughs> I know we're destroying a lot of equipment, but we get so much gear in the uh, in the uh, feed anyway at the end. I'd rather have these guys off the field so it doesn't cost me so much. There's so many Orion parts on this field today. I can't, honestly, just so you know, I, I can't justify taking mech parts. I can't do it because it's like those weakened guys at the start. Guess I can't get a shot in this guy, huh? Start making our way towards this war dog. Whatever he is. War wolf, war something or other. Okay, just move into the trees. Get some defense. Just shoot him. I want this guy gone. Target's taken a critical hit. Orders. Well, he's unsteady. Hammer him. All we gotta do is occupy the base and we're done. We're close enough to do that, I think. I'm receiving you. Let's keep moving to where this guy is. Oh, we got a direct line of sight now. He's decided to come out and fight. Rack is still up to speed. Let's just do it. Hey, AMS ain't gonna help you today, buddy. Alright, let's end this. Can we get... Oh, we can. Right there. Roger. In the base. Direct line of sight. Switching around. I think the tag arrow's out of range. It's not. We'll fire everything. Nope, not quite enough. There it is, folks. Alright, 197,000. That's not going to cover our repairs, I don't think. Let's just check that out, though. Check out the gear. Now, uh, like I said, I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to bother to choose. Look, I mean, look at all this. We could get an Orion out of this. Not going to choose any parts. AMS Mark II. Now we've got three of these still. Arrow 4C. Now I've sold my arrow systems. Because we have the tag arrow and the, and the tag barrages, it's kind of made these really... I don't want to say a waste in my opinion, but they, it's made them um, far less valuable than it was in the last playthrough where this was really the only artillery that you had for long-range firing. Um... Now, I know the tag, you need to have a direct line of sight, but it does so much more, it seems to do so much more damage than the arrow does, that I'm, I'm not even going to bother touching these. For 12 tons, it's not even worth it. Um, at least in my opinion, it's not worth it. Now, ERPPCs, I sold my Intersphere versions because we needed a lot of C-bills. 
Um, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. Plus one recoil. Uh, improved ATM 12s. Wait, was that plus two? Two evasion pips ignored, really. Plus one accuracy. LRM 15s. We still got a bunch. We got three left. We've got some medium heavy lasers. I want the approved versions though, just so we're not minus one to hit. Micro pulse lasers, sniper artillery, ultra auto cannon 10 clan. This would be great if we had, um, ooh, excuse me, ultra auto 10 can ammo. That was, sorry, ultra auto cannon 10 ammo. That's what I was looking at putting on the, um, the roughneck was the ultra auto cannon 10, but I don't have enough ammo for it. Um, Battle computers are a good possibility. Um, case we've got lots of. Emergency cooling system is nice. Um, engines, Excel engines if we want enhanced imaging. Okay, we've still got one of these left over. Enhanced imaging. Let's grab one for now. Guardian ECMs. We still got, well, we don't have any right now. Clan heat bank, heat dissipating armor. Minus 15% weapon heat generated. Six fixed slots. I'm going to throw that in because I got a feeling we're going to be doing some high energy builds soon. Uh, it'd be nice to have that. Heat sinks, I'm sure we'll get some. Mask, we have two. Uh, ammo AMS. We're okay right now for AMS ammo. I do have a double load plus a half load. So I'm not worried too much about that. Approved ATM ammo. So this is just ammo, which I don't... I mean, oh my god. Eight. Ultra, oh my god, double load of Ultra 20. Um... I think we're okay for Ultra 20 because we've got it all loaded in. We've got one of these left. We've got all the Ultra 20 that we need, I think, because we don't have another Ultra 20 weapon. Although I could take the Clan Ultra 10. I know this sounds crazy, guys. Some of this stuff up here is really nice, but I'm just thinking in the immediate term what I can throw on my mechs and what I've got Seabills for. Um, because this can go right into the um, Roughneck and we can do an Ultra 10 build on the Roughneck now instead of the Ultra 5. Um, large improved heavy laser too, I eh? See, I, in the last playthrough I really didn't like these so much. But if you look at the stats now, Originally they had damage fall off, right? Now they don't have damage fall off. It's like you're doing more damage than a PPC at four tons for 54 heat. Now the range is slightly lower than a normal PPC. But how can you like that's like how do you say no to that though? Anyway, well well let's hope we get that. I think this is probably the best route. These are immediate things that we can use. Let's cross our fingers from for some of these ER larges. Let's cross our fingers for the Ryokin parts. That would be nice. Let's confirm this. One exterminator part. Wow. ER PPC. HA30 Goss. Heavy Goss. Sorry. Um, I Oh, wow. We got ripped off, man. We got, like, ripped off. Oh, well, we got the Ultra 20 double ammo. Wow, that was a terrible roll. All right, let's have a look here. 129. Okay, so that was about what we made. So not bad. I mean, it makes up kind of for that junky roll that we got. And what are we looking at as far as days? Not very many. We got three mech bays running now, so... 
um, let's do it like this. So it's four days. All right, well, our last mech bay is not working at 100%, though. All right, let's, uh, yeah, you know what? This was, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I'm going to sell off whatever junk we have because we got 2.1 million to make in how many days? 15 days. So I'm going to get these mechs back and then uh, we're going to jump right into another battle and right in the next episode we'll go right into a battle. Um, we got to get some sea bills before the end of this month. Um, and it may be that I just sell all the old mech parts uh, and all the light mech parts. We'll just sell all of them. Uh, and just keep the mediums heavy as an assaults for now. That should give us enough sea bills. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.